Hello and welcome to the Young Author Pod and today we will discuss about the pathoanatomy of the club foot. For an effective and clear understanding of the club foot anomaly, the pathological changes caused by the congenital club foot must be understood. Congenital talipus equinovarus or the club foot is a congenital condition characterized by cavus that is the increased medial arch adduction of the forefoot varus at the hind foot and equinus of the ankle joint before proceeding to the pathoanatomy let us quickly review the clinical picture of the club foot on examination from the medial plantar side you can see equinus at the ankle joint a posterior crease at the ankle joint a deep cleft on the medial plantar aspect of the midfoot the medial border of the foot is concave and the forefoot is adducted and inverted on examination from the lateral side one can again note the forefoot is adducted and inverted there is apparent shortening of the great toe convex lateral border of the foot and prominent body of the talus on the dorsolateral aspect of the foot the posterior examination reveals equinovarus posture of the heel small tucked up heel tight cord like tendoachillis a posterior crease at the ankle joint and calf atrophy are noticeable for learning purposes the pathoanatomy of the club foot can be grossly divided into pathological changes in bones and joints muscles and tendons and capsule and ligaments the main joints affected are the talonavicular joint the calcaneo cuboid joint the subtalar joint and the ankle joint let's see the pathological changes in talus the normal talar head neck and body angle is about 160 degrees the talar neck is medially rotated relative to the ankle mortis but the talar body is laterally rotated leading to a decreased angle between the head and neck and the body of the talus to about 120 degrees the head and neck of the talus are tilted medially and plantarward and the talus is fixed in equinus the navicular abuts the medial malleolus the medial angulation of talar head and neck gives the subtalar joint a medial spin with interosseous ligament acting as a fulcrum the anterior part of the calcaneus follows deformed anterior part of the talus and shifts medially and downwards whereas the posterior part of the calcaneus shifts laterally and upwards the calcaneus abuts the fibular malleolus and calcaneo cuboid joint is displaced medially the calcaneus is in equinus and heel is in varus the heel appears to be in varus because the calcaneus rotates through the talocalcaneal joint in a coronal plane and horizontally the first tray appears shortened and the metatarsals are fixed in equinovarus this entire pathological malalignment of the joints is maintained by contracture of the soft tissues the muscles and tendons around the ankle and foot are grossly affected by the pathology posteromedially the achilles tendon the posterior tibial tendon the flexor digitorum longus and flexor hallucis longus tendons are contracted on the posterolateral aspect the peroneal sheath is contracted and thickened the plantar muscles are contracted with an equinus and varus deformity of the forefoot and midfoot medially the abductor hallucis is shortened thickening and contracture of the ligaments as well as capsules have been reported 
these include the tibionavicular ligament the posterior tibiotalar ligament the tibiocalcaneal ligament the calcaneonavicular ligament the plantar calcaneocuboid ligament the calcaneocuboid joint capsule the plantar cuboidonavicular ligament the plantar tarso metatarsal ligaments and the plantar cuneonavicular ligaments on the posterior aspect you can find the contracture of posterior tibiofibular ligament the posterior talofibular ligament posterior talocalcaneal ligament the tibiocalcaneal ligament tibiotalar and talocalcaneal joint capsule the calcaneofibular ligament and the long and short plantar ligaments So this was a brief description of the pathoanatomy of the club foot. Please tell us in the comment section and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to the Young Orthopod for more interesting videos in orthopedics. You can also connect to us on Facebook and Instagram for more interesting content in orthopedics. We'll be back with another video. See you soon.